Hi, I'm Ben Bursma, principal here at Rockford Christian, and I'm so excited to welcome you virtually to our campus. There are so many amazing things happening here. God is at work, and we get to see it in all kinds of places. At Rockford Christian, there are so many great things happening, especially outside. Outdoor education is a meaningful, integrated aspect of what school looks like here. Teachers have their classroom, and then they have their classroom. Students come outside, they get their hands dirty, they do their learning in God's creation, and they get to understand a bit more about the Creator, who is God. How has He made the earth, and what is their place in it? Rockford Christian is a special place where meaningful relationships are made and formed. Teachers know their students well and love them, and students have fun outside learning. You see the joy of learning on their faces when they learn a new math concept or reading a story that they love. I hope you get to know us a bit better this evening and begin to see yourself here. Kindergartners are so excited to be at school. It is the first time that they have gotten to come to school for real, whether even if they went to preschool, it's their first true school experience. Um, and they are just so excited to finally be a big kid and watching them learn those new things and seeing them experience the world is just such a joy and such a privilege for me um, as their teacher to help guide them through that experience. This year for the very first year, we have a uh, outdoor education director, and that's me. I have the opportunity to see our students, everybody kindergarten through eighth grade on a weekly basis. Nature-based education really isn't anything new. It's old. I mean, 150 years ago, kids were outside all the time, working in the fields or playing in the creeks. We have our kindergartners doing things like um, trying to build a bird's nest with your hands and then beginning to understand the amazing skill that God has given birds to build nests because we couldn't do it. Playing on that curiosity and continuing to enhance that, allowing them to see that curiosity is a good thing and it really motivates learning. Kindergarten at Rockford is such an awesome place to be. Uh, the kids are learning independence. Um, every morning we do the same kind of routine in order to help them learn um, a schedule and to feel really comfortable in what they're doing every day. Literacy is a huge part of kindergarten. We start off really developing a love of reading and the kids are readers from day one because they can look at the pictures and tell themselves a story. And as we learn how to read words, they can become lifelong readers. I'm Jenny Pullman and I teach here at Rockford Christian. I teach grades K through eight. And I really love to focus on music and movement in grades K through three. And then in the instrumental program, we start recorders in the fourth grade and I teach band through the eighth grade. We always start with the basics, like I said, movement and controlling ourselves. And then we launch into all the aspects of music and we interweave that throughout through each grade and we learn more difficult things in each grade so that by the time you're in fourth grade, you're reading music, you're reading notes, you're reading rhythms. We're learning not only things about music, but we're learning things about ourselves. Kindergarteners do music twice a week for a half an hour. We work on a lot of spatial awareness, a lot of locomotor movements, so that would be hopping, skipping, and jumping. We will work on a lot of base skills of catching and kicking um, so that we can progress and build on all of those skills so that by the time they're in fifth grade, we're, we're playing mostly sports and um, able to play a lot of games. I'm always in constant communication with the other teachers. We're always talking about the needs of different students and how I and we can best serve those students. In kindergarten Spanish, we really focus on colors and greetings and numbers. We also focus on the alphabet and different vocab within the alphabet. 
Kindergartners really look forward to just being able to come to Spanish every week and just gaining more knowledge on what we learned the previous week. Because we have them for such a short time, I try and do songs and dances in the beginning, and then we learn just a couple things each class and expand. They really look forward to the songs and just being able to say those songs at home as well. When we come to art, we always talk about how we're artists in the art room and artists are careful and they are kind and they are creative. I want them all to know that when they're in here, they're an artist so that they feel that success of being able to create. Art is a great place to come and be able to set yourself free. They learn so much in kindergarten. They work really hard and make such great advances in their classroom. But sometimes they need a space to be able to wiggle a little bit, to be able to brush things, squish things, make big, larger movements. Um, and be able to work with color and different ideas. We paint a lot. We get nice and messy. I love incorporating little stuffed animals and different books along with their projects, trying to play into all their different interests. We have such an amazing campus. Uh, we have been blessed by just so much space that we can go outside and as we are developing it more every year to fit our educational needs it's just been so great to have kids be able to be outside get more fresh air move especially as a kindergartner we have about one mile worth of trails and uh, these trails have been built by students and we use the trails a lot for walkabouts, for nature studies. We have food plots down there. We have um, what happens when the soil gets damaged, experiments going on right um, on the other side of school. Um, we've been able to harvest some plants from one area to see if they will grow in another area. Science is one of the easier subjects to be teaching outside because it is a lot of what we're already studying in kindergarten with life cycles and plants and animals. Um, but it's also, when we go out and read our books and just breathe in that fresh air and we have some more space to move around and we see the birds and we hear the um, different things that we hear outside, it just gives the kids a different perspective of the world. And it's a bigger perspective than just what's inside of the four walls. Our wigwam back there is another student-led uh, building project. We hope to eventually have a Native American village in here with examples of several different types of homes. And uh, everything out here is kid-built. From the trails, to the wigwam, to the fire pit, to the benches. Um, this is all kids doing the work. And um, I'm really proud and honored just to be the, the captain of the ship, so to speak, when they're the ones who are doing all the work. We do a lot with those tangible things that you can see and how we feel God and how we see Him in what we're doing every day. We talk a lot about how God is in the way that we treat each other. We learn about God and who He is and how that relates to our day to day. Um, we, especially here, we learn a lot about how God is part of the world that He has created and how we fit into that as well. We have a wonderful partnership with Camp Roger. We go there several times a year and work with their um, education program there. And again, they do a phenomenal job of incorporating how God has created this world. As the kids enter kindergarten, there's an element of curiosity in our students that is simply wonderful. Each time I see kids, we do things that hope to foster that sense of curiosity. I don't know how many times I start my sentences with, I wonder how this came about, or I wonder why it's that way. And how many times I end my sentences or, or conversations with, isn't that amazing? Look at the, what God has done in here. The family feeling that is at Rockford Christian is truly unlike any other. I think somewhat because we are a smaller school, everyone is a part of it. 
There's so many opportunities for parents to get involved with their kids, um, to either help outside of school or in school. I love getting to know parents um, at pickup and drop off, helping them to feel like they know what is happening in kindergarten. If this is your first child in school, there's a lot of questions and there are no bad questions. So it's part of my job to help parents really know what to expect for kindergarten and beyond.